So your vitals are strong. We're just going to continue to monitor you. Thank you. So, um, you saw my father? As clearly as I see you now. And he had a message for me? He was very concerned about your life story. He was worried about how you turned people's lives upside down. But I'm so good at it. Your father was very worried about you. He's so afraid you'll make the wrong choices. Well, he's up there and I'm down here. Different rules apply, different choices. Take care of yourself, Agnes. I will. I owe her my life. I wish there was something I could do to show my gratitude. Actually, there is something that you might be able to do for her. Kara's been having some trouble lately with immigration. Well, tell me more. Oh, my God. What the hell? What, yeah, that's where? JR being proactive. He put a little camera in Marissa's hotel room. JR, you're sick. I... The door was open. Listen, we got a lot of work to do on this custody appeal. So let's get going. No, um, Mom, excuse me. I, I want you to leave. What? Well, I asked you to stay on as JR's lawyer, and, uh... I know. That's why I'm staying. Well, I was wrong. He doesn't deserve your help. You know what still keeps me awake at night sometimes? It's not the affair. Isn't that strange? I mean, it wasn't what happened between you and David. It was the fact that after it was over, and you decided you had to leave, when you were pregnant with Kathy, it turned to the same guy, stuck a knife in my back to do it. I will never stop regretting that. And the pain that caused you. Oh, come on. Look, we dealt with this. We dealt with it, and I thought I was past it. And to be fair to you, I'm sorry. Because I think what's going on here is just, I just feel like my life is... I'm in the same place. Nothing ever changes. Same thing happens over and over again. Once again, I get a ringside seat to watch somebody I have learned to care for very much, Kara, throw her life in the toilet by trusting that, that oily, laconic snake. You know, and it's just nothing... <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Well, I think Kara's pretty smart. I think she'll figure it out. You didn't. Not until it was too late. I just feel like all, I, all you did was love me, and I hurt oh, you so on, much. Come on, hey, look, look, stop. <laughs> no, bad. stop. I'm not trying to play the victim here. That's not what this is about. Look. God only knows how much I tortured you. The past is the past. It doesn't cost you something, you know. The only thing that's important right now is this. The fact that you're here in spite of everything life or Hayward or fate has thrown on our way, we're together again. So no more apologizing. Maybe I'll stop apologizing when you forgive me. <laughs> oh, of course I've forgiven you. I've forgiven no. you. Dad, I know you. I saw you. I heard you. You were mad. You were hurt. You know, it, it was like it was all happening all over again. I mean, if that's how you really feel, and if that's the way it's going to be, you know, maybe you're never going to forgive me. Um, uh, Lucy appearing like that, I know it was a desperate move. I just felt like it was meant to be. I mean, here I was, holding Ellie in my arms, trying my best to will her back to life. And then all of a sudden I hear this baby cry. I swear to God, it was just so, it was just too surreal. I mean, I thought, well, what else could this be but a sign? I don't understand. Who left her? She was, uh, she was, she was left in a box. 
no identification. Uh, apparently, whoever it was thought she'd be a lot better off with us. Like Maya. Poor Maya, so, so desperate and so alone. Take a chance on... Take a chance that strangers would be better paired. Oh, God. Is Maya Lucy's mother? 